Last you joining open. Wow. Wow. you and you can get over there at the lakeside you can get over anywhere in the world you know what i mean because that's that's really a proven that's the real i mean they'll give it to you real if you ain't cutting it they'll let you know young boy until I was 18 years old, all I could think about was just getting out of Alabama. I wanted to make some money. If you ain't getting no money in California, you got to have two jobs and a hustle. You know what I mean? All right, I thank y'all for hanging out. I'm looking, I'm getting ready to get in, I'm getting ready to get in your business. That was the first gig I really got, like, on my own, you know what I mean? I went and talked to the guy, gave him a sample CD to Julian, which I didn't know him at the time. And his calendar was, was full, but he made a spot for me, and I've been having that spot ever since, third Sunday, 10 years. <laughs> Somebody, somebody, I ain't 
top level. If you want to entertain yourself, you're in the Oakland area or whatnot, you got to go to the lakeside. If you want to feel for a juke or some live music on Sunday blues on Sunday night, can't miss. People know we can go here, we can put on our grown folks' clothes. That's the last club standing that does that. And, uh, you know, as much as people frequent there, I don't see it going anywhere. downtime I say and sometimes I go back and look at some of the pictures that I've uh, taken during the years I've been there and a lot of them are gone this is part of who we are man this is music that we do man we got to uh, continue to carry it on I mean you know music's gonna keep manifesting itself uh, as long as there's a world and there's human beings, I don't know what they do when there's no human beings. I imagine some kind of some kind of music. So the birds are singing in, I guess. Looking for a party. This place is packed. It's blues on Sunday night. It's always like that. Evil and uh, hate can't survive. It's always an end to it. You can look down through history. Uh, it's a season for good and it's a season for hate. You know, it's it's, it's season for things. So it's, it's, the history has already been written and documented for after we get through this. It's something already written for after this is over. You know what I mean? After Donald Trump, after you know the pandemic, after this, after that, it's it's, it's already been prophesied. That this is a season. This is preparing us for something uh, for the people that's going to be here when something even greater than what we're experiencing now may come. You know, I know things going to be different. You know. I definitely hope the money get better. <laughs> okay, so we're going to see you here next Sunday, right? You ought to see some of these COVID <laughs> skilled in place hairdos. I don't even want to take my hat off. <laughs> see what I got this hat on in the house? I got it on for a reason, buddy. Uh, rat nest up there, man. God, leave. Wall to wall, back to back. That's that sound on the lakeside track. Wall to wall, back to back. That's that sound on the lakeside track. I want to thank y'all for coming down tonight. You definitely, definitely have experienced a real old school party. You know
in touch with them. Uh, uh-huh. I always tell them they still got these Sundays whenever we whenever we can ride the road. Yeah. Because, you know, I talk to most of my patrons, and they all like just, man, uh, whenever you get back, we coming back. 